Hello guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. It's about 7.15 and um, just in the middle of getting ready, but I thought I would pop in and say hello because you guys, oh my gosh, this is the first full week that I can actually like vlog in the morning at full volume. It's the craziest thing. So my parents are both in Mexico. My dad left on Thursday and he drove down their new car to Mexico. They had a two door Jeep down there for the past, I don't know, maybe four or five years. And they decided they wanted to upgrade um, like in size and also quality. So they bought a four door Jeep from here and then now they are trucking it down or my, already did. So on Thursday, my dad drove it down to Puerto Vallarta where their property is. And then on Sunday, my mom flew down to meet him. So now officially house to ourselves and I can vlog and I'm so excited about it. So let's do a quick update. So I know in the last video I told you guys um, about the house that we loved and then I put in a bid and they chose one that was slightly higher, which, you know, was just stabbed at the heart. It feels like when you're like in a class and your final grade is an 89.5% and they don't upgrade you to an A. Like that's what it freaking feels like. It is just stabbed to the heart shock. So very unfortunate. We do still have a couple more days until their, um, their inspection contingency has to be lifted. So as of right now, it's still pending because you know your girl's stopping it on Zillow. But, um, uh, you know, our, our chances are like shrinking very quickly, but there are still a few more days left that potentially things could turn around for us. In the meantime, have been stalking Zillow and Realtor.com trying to find um, something else. And I did find another house, but we've been getting estimates and looking up like prices and timelines and labor estimates and all of those things. Um, to figure out how much it would cost to do all the things that we wanted to do. So anywho, um, I'm gonna finish getting ready. Long intro per usual. If you guys haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give us a big thumbs up, and thank you for tuning in and coming along on my channel. Uh, let's get into it. Look what came in. It's all of your guys' pink ears. Yeah. Ooh, are we excited? Are you excited? Let's open it. All right, are you guys ready? Yum. You ready, Hun Hunter? Good job. Hello, guys. It's hours later. Just got home from work. And um, we are going to be going to look at a house. Very excited. Got all dressed and whatnot because we were about to go right now. But then um, my sister slash our real estate agent informed us that um, you have to make an appointment. So she reached out to make an appointment and basically we found out that they don't have any um, availability until 7 p.m. Because, ooh, is that a bug? What just fell on my face? Um, don't have any availability until 7 p.m. because they have um, other people coming to see the house. So um, now we have some time. So I've decided that I'm going to cook up a quick meal. So per usual, air frying. Um, showed you guys in the last video just using these air fryer parchments from Reynolds Kitchen. They are the bee's knees. Um, and then I showed you guys also um, from Costco these spicy chicken strips. I will say mini, mini kick. They're really not that spicy. So. I'm gonna make a couple of these. Some of them are, like they're all different shapes. So some of them are a little small, but um, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna make four. Actually, I already, I already know Darren's gonna get involved. So I'm gonna add another little mini one in here. Um, so organizing dinner real fast, because otherwise, you know, I might get hungry when I'm there. And I just want all of my attention to be able to focus on the activity at hand because I'm not very good at focusing when I'm hangry. So air fryer's still going in the background, food's still cooking, but I wanted to pop in because I have just the best life hack for you guys. So if you buy like ranch, you know, like it's good, but then do you ever go to like Wingstop or a restaurant and they have like that thicker ranch that just, it tastes so much better? Well, figured out what they're doing. So they are like in-house making ranch, but basically I've asked, and this is what they're doing. They get the ranch seasoning packets 
And of course, for like restaurants, you know, they get it in bulk, but they're using the ranch seasoning and mix it into sour cream. And so like that's the like ranch that you're eating in restaurants. So instead of just buying the regular like bottled ranch, now what I did, I just got a whole thing of like sour cream. We always have multiple things of sour cream. So we still have the, the like big regular sour cream. And then this one I have made into a giant thing of ranch. So like, I don't, I'm like trying to show you without spilling it. Let me see. So can you kind of see like the seasoning in there? Um, now we're keeping this in the fridge and then because we're keeping it in the sour cream container, we know when it expires because these ranch packets last way longer. So just going off the dairy expiration date is like the best bet for like knowing when it's good until. So I, yeah, I just taped the, um, the ranch packet. I literally like cut off the thing and <laughs> taped it on here and then like crossed out. I was like, ranch. <laughs> so no one mixes it up, but literally this is the best decision I have ever freaking made. Other thing that I did to elevate the chicken strips, I bought Frank's Red Hot. I was mentioning, I think in the last video, that I thought it'd be so good if I made it like a buffalo chicken wing because, or chicken strip, because it's like the spicy one, but like it's not really spicy. So um, not that Frank's Red Hot is, but it just adds a bit more of like a, you know, buffalo flavor, because that's what I was going for. So between that and this, oh, guys, I've, I have figured it out. I have gourmetified this air fried meal and I just, I couldn't be more proud of myself, honestly. What are you cutie pies doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just got back from taking, oh my gosh, Hunter just threw himself on the ground. Just got back from taking the dogs on their um, their little ball throw excursion, trying to get their exercise out. Um, we need ooh, we need to leave here like three minutes ago. Okay, well, I'm gonna use the restroom and then we're gonna head out. I will tell you guys what we thought after. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so it is 8.30. We just got back. Oh my gosh, how did I? Can, I don't know if you can see that, but I like somehow cracked. No, you can't really see it, but this whole section is cracked. So that's gonna affect all of my pictures. Okay, so I have a little screen cover on here, so I'm gonna have to take that off. But anyway, it's 8.30, we just got back. You guys, that was horrific. Like, hi Sadie girl. It was just, okay, house was big. Layout was like, what is this? Downstairs, you had a, do a glass door to the backyard that faces the toilet. I was like, hello, peeping Tom. Absolutely not. And then there's also a shower. So it's like glass door facing this way, toilet right here, and then the shower facing the window. So literally, peeping Tom can see you on the toilet and the glass shower. And I was just like, and straight from the backyard, like, on the first floor, I think not. Like, that's creepy. Cosmetically, almost every room looked like at least one section of the room had been lit on fire at one time or another. We found black mold in two rooms. There were wires hanging out. When we found the electrical box, it looked like someone was like stealing energy. And like, there were all these wires coming out from that. Um, and that's kind of what we identified it as. Running down the back side of the house were like these like ri like dried rivers of like rust coming down. Every single light switch and outlet was like covered in, like they were all brown. Like they were white outlet covers and they were brown with filth. The walls brown and huge, like just dirty, like stains all over them. Just like what happened in here? There was one room where there's like hung up where it looks like they were hanging someone by like their like wrist in a strap that would I'm, I guess go across like your chest or something like are you attaching people to the wall like wh what is happening and it was just like everywhere we went through and like the showers looked like you were to step in there you're you're getting a disease like end of story just I I, I speechless speechless like I knew that it needed new kitchen need new floors needed a paint job you know like when I walked in 
Um, like you could tell that from the photos, but I was like, the bones are great, like no worries, just cosmetic facelift. But like as we're walking through, it was like, literally there is not one thing I see looking around that is okay. Like everything has to go. Yeah, that was a no. Um, walking through, I was literally frightened. I was like, this is a like, X trap house. I think it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Happy Wednesday. So, um, per usual, brought you guys back for the usual shot as I do my bronzer, blush, and highlighter. I always just feel like these are the easiest like tasks um, for my makeup that I can actually like talk during. So, um, this is why we always end up chatting during this time. So um, this morning, uh, just getting ready for work per usual. After work, I'm very excited. I'm going to go over to my friend Kersey's house and I'm going to finally meet her baby girl. We're gonna go on a little stroll. I'm excited to see Kersey again and meet her little girl. So it's gonna be a wonderful day. So um, I have to be back in Sacramento by 5.30 from work, so. I'm like, all right, we need to be productive and efficient today. Um, usually I am back at that time, but there are also many days that I don't get home until significantly later. And tomorrow is going to be one of those. Tomorrow I am back in Nevada. I feel like I am just in Nevada so often these days, but um, when you get good traction somewhere, you've got to see it through, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's the latest and greatest. Okay, today's offices are getting smoothie. So I always try to get a variety. So I got a Razzmatazz, a Mango A Go Go, a Strawberry Surf Rider, a Strawberries Wild, and a Caribbean Passion. So we've got a little bit of everything. So hopefully they like it. Hey guys, it is hours later. I am finally on my way home from work. Today has been an interesting day. I started in one city and then had a emergency situation come up in the Bay Area, so then I had to pivot and drive to the Bay. So, you know, uh, did not have the most efficient day, but we got everything done that we needed to, so you know, it's still a win. Now, on my way home, I'm gonna stop by Crumble because uh, as I told you, I'm gonna go see Kersey and the little fam, and I'm gonna bring up some Crumble cookies. They've only had Crumble literally once, which, how on earth? So, uh, I'm here to change that. And then I was like, well, I mean, if I'm already there, I might as well. So I called Darren, got his crumble order, and then I was like, uh, maybe I'll call my sister. So then I called her, got her crumble order. So after this, I'm gonna go on a crumble delivery tour, and then I have a bit more work I have to do at home. And then finally, it will be time to go see Kersey, and that's a highlight of my day. So incredibly excited and just, oh. Okay, just went to crumble and I picked up some cookies, like I told you guys, a box for Kersey, a box for uh, me and Darren, my sister, and her man. And then I got two empty um, single boxes, so when I drop off my sisters, I can transfer them into there. So that's the new life hack. Okay guys, I'm home, it's 5.45. I literally just finished all my work stuff, put it away, loaded everything into my car, because I don't know if I told you guys this, but I have to leave at 7 a.m. tomorrow to get to my first meeting in Nevada um, in time because it's a four hour drive to where I am going apparently at that time. I like plugged in what time I need to arrive there and it was like, I need to be there at like 11.15. It was like, you need to leave at 7.05. I was like, oh, excellent, excellent. So that's gonna be fun tomorrow. A lot of podcast time. So I am about to head out and um, go meet Kersey right now. But I thought I would show you guys, uh, we're also gonna go on a walk, so change into some just comfy clothes. Um, I was gonna put on my workout pants, but you guys, we went with shorts because it is still 103 right now. It's just a little bit too aggressive. So yeah, okay, so let's look at the crumble. Oh, oh, it is stuck on something, that's not good. Oh my God, they literally put it into the cake. Excellent, okay, so we have, Actually, can I even show you guys? Okay, so over here, this is frosted oatmeal, chocolate chip, 
This is s'mores and then pumpkin, pumpkin cream, pumpkin, pumpkin square. So this is, this is what it looks like, but then it came in a little tin. And then that's what the s'mores one's supposed to look like, but it looks wrong. And then there was also a peanut butter blossom and then the iced oatmeal, and then there was a berries and cream. Darren got the pumpkin one, and he said that it was amazing. It was almost like a pumpkin cake, which um, to me sounds horrible, but apparently it was delicious. But I also hate pumpkin. Fun fact about me, I will eat pumpkin every fall to be festive. I can only really do like pumpkin drinks like from Starbucks, but I get them every fall to be festive, but I hate them. I will ingest them for, for the vibes though, you know what I mean? But when it comes to like edible things, like a cake or a pumpkin pie, that, that's taking it too far. Like I've gotta draw a line somewhere with eating things that I hate, you know what I mean? So yeah, anyway, uh, running late, so uh, see you guys later. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. It's about 6.30 right now. I need to be out the door at seven o'clock. Um, but I don't need to like make breakfast or lunch today because that is why I'm leaving so early is because that's what I'm doing for offices. Um, so I just get to finish getting ready and then leave. So today I'm curling my hair, but if you're wondering what on earth I'm doing, before I curl my hair, I always straighten the top and I just straighten to like the top of my ears because that's where usually I curl to. So it just like makes sure that I don't end up with like super frizzy top because that usually is what happens for me is I have these nice curls and then like a frizzy and like random crimps in the top of my hair. So um, I just like to tame the top. Just wanted to pop in, say good morning. Um, I'm using the um, dark hair Batiste dry shampoo and I love this stuff um, because that like white powder that gets left from regular dry shampoo. It doesn't matter like how much I rub it into like my hair and everything, it still leaves like this gray cast on my hair and it's not very cute. So I just, I find it easier to get rid of the color with this one. Um, if you guys also um, like using this stuff, order it on Amazon. If you order a pack of like three or four, you get them for, I think it's like four bucks each or something like that, four or five bucks. So it's um, cheaper than even if you get them at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something. Um, so yeah, I always just order bulk because I use them every other day. So that's the hack. Okay, so I just finished getting ready. It curls so much better. I think it's because I'm only curling like, or I'm only heat styling like two or three times a week, sometimes only once a week, that's the goal. But um, I think because I'm not doing it every day when I do, when I do do it, um, it's just like frizz free, like looks good, I'm obsessed with it. I wish my hair looked like this every day, but of course, you know, it's all of the uh, limiting of the heat style that is making it attractive. So anywho, um, I am uh, needing to leave in the next four minutes. So I need to fill up my water bottle. I think I'm gonna make myself a vanilla latte to go. I wanna do a comeback in really quick and show you guys how I make my lattes. So um, in here, uh, I already have the syrup and the um, espresso. So I wanna show you what I'm using. So Apatera Vanilla Sugar-Free Syrup. So this is the one that I use. You can get it at like Home Goods and I think TJ Maxx. So I have bought some from the grocery store before um, and I'm not really super specific on what brand. I just always go for a sugar-free one. Um, and I happened to be at Home Goods one day um, right when I had run out and I came across this one. So I was like, why not? Let's just give it a go. So um, yeah, I used um, this one. And as you can see, I have been using this one for a little bit. So it kind of comes out as a drip. So I do like two good squeezes. So like one, two, and then um, I put it into the Nespresso machine and then I put in the espresso directly to it. So I use my Nespresso machine to do this and then I use an espresso pod. So this is the, so this is the particular one that I used and I have been using. So it's, I think it's pronounced Scuro and it's a double espresso. So this one is 2.7 fluid ounces. So it makes like two espresso shots in one basically. So um, I just have to do one of these. Otherwise, if I use a single espresso, I use two pots and it just felt really wasteful. So I think the double espresso might be a little more expensive, but it's still overall is cheaper than using two of the singles. So um, yeah use a double, so syrup at the bottom, and then I put in that, 
And then I use whatever milk. Um, so I prefer using the Almond Breeze and I use the vanilla flavored unsweetened. So um, already because I'm using this, I want unsweetened because I don't, it's sweet enough for me. Like I don't, I don't need more. I'm not into sweets that much. So then I fill it up about two thirds of the way. And no matter what container or like cup I'm using, I fill it up two thirds of the way. And then I add ice. I never add ice before the milk because the espresso is still hot. And so it melts the ice and immediately waters it down. So instead I like to put the milk and it kind of cools down the temperature so that the ice maintains its frozenness. <laughs> the ice doesn't melt as quickly. There we go. So I've got the ice. Okay, there goes one. <laughs> and then, uh-oh, I got the lid stuck on this little grip thing. <gasps> oh no, I chipped off part of the grip. Oh, that makes me sad. Okay, we're gonna be okay though. Ugh. Okay, lid is on and we are good to go. So I'm gonna put everything away and head out the door. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you afterward. Literally just walked in the door. Sorry about the crunching in the background. Um, Darren just gave the dogs pig ears, so um, Hunter is devouring his on the floor right behind me. Everything went swimmingly, um, and yeah, I'm just I'm so excited to be home. And for tomorrow to be Friday, um, I feel like just days have been lasting just, you know, a little bit too long for my liking. But thankfully, it's Labor Day weekend. We have a three-day weekend, can't wait. Today is my mother-in-law's birthday. Um, so we are going to be celebrating um, on Saturday and Sunday. So we're gonna be going um, down there for um, just the night and spending the two days um, over there with them and celebrating with the family. So this weekend should be fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to also being able to sleep in because um, I feel like I just, it has been too long since I've been able to do that. I didn't get to sleep in either day this weekend or the weekend before. And I'm talking like waking up between like four and six o'clock every day. So yeah, your girl is sleep deprived. Literally don't have an update. I just got home and wanted to say, hello, I'm home. <laughs> hello guys, good morning, happy Friday. So right now I'm making myself a quick breakfast. So I'm gonna air fry two of these um, hash brown patties. Um, I already put down the air fryer parchment in here and then I'm just gonna sprinkle it with a little salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna make some breakfast tacos. So I have corn tortillas, um, Costco bacon, and I'm just gonna um, do two eggs. So I'm gonna do two breakfast tacos. I can't believe we made it to Friday. I am so freaking excited. Three day weekend, here we come. Today was also payday. So I don't know about you guys, but every payday, I'm just like, I'm rich. Also, quick hack for eggs. Put your burner on medium, melt the butter, um, and then put your eggs in. Once your eggs start to turn like white at the bottom, um, reduce the heat to simmer and then put a lid on it and then just keep an eye on it. It gives you the perfect like um, over medium uh, cook, which is basically where the white is hard and fully cooked but the yolk is still runny. So um, you guys need a way to have perfect results every time, try that. My eggs just finished and I wanted to show you guys the perfect eggs. Can you see that? Woo, look at that perfection so I didn't feel like dirtying multiple like kitchen utensils and I needed the tongs for bacon so we are using tongs for eggs as well I'm just getting creative so have the tortilla have the eggs and then my bacon is still cooking so I do two pieces of bacon per um, little tortilla so my bacon is crispy so now I'm just gonna like lay it on these napkins and dab the extra fat off, and then let these cool for a couple minutes, and then I will proceed to pick off all of the fat and only use the meat. I like it this way. So I just finished cooking. So here we are. As you can see, the bacon is all like pieced because I removed as much as the, of the fat as I possibly could, and then I have my two crispy hash brown patties. So this should hopefully hold me off for breakfast and lunch. I'm hoping to just power through the day and then come home and I can eat then. Okay guys, I just finished breakfast. It was so good. I love that. Literally could eat the same thing day after day. And actually I do. <laughs> I do eat the same thing day after day for breakfast. Not very creative when it comes to breakfast unless I have like a lot of time that'll make like an omelet 
or like um, Eggs Benedict, things like that. But during the week, it's pretty much like breakfast sandwich, eggs and bacon, or like those breakfast tacos. Those are like my go-to breakfasts. But anywho, just finished uh, cleaning everything up, uh, refilled my water bottle, and since it's been so hot, um, I've also filled um, this like Yeti water bottle as well that I just used to like refill this once this is empty. So um, I've been drinking both of those every day and I'm like still thirsty, which I guess is a good sign. You know, my body's like gotten used to like drinking so much water and staying hydrated. It is time for me to head out for work. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, gives you a big thumbs up and don't forget to tune in next week for another new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.